uh, this last song is another original, it's called Rainbow's Child. Take my hand Trust me, I'm your biggest fan See this out Leave the stream with fewer ties See the rain Like the falls on your window pane it's not in vain I'm sure that sky will smile again And it's overhead and it's up above Those colors shine for you, my love To touch the rain, not saying goodbye. See you again. Moving on, top and down, twist and chain, scream and shout. Read the sun. Between those narrow lines Take your pick If it's me you want Then you better be quick Silent stands Like newborn innocence Like lambs Give it your ear Here's beauty, loud and clear As overnight the flies are done It flies its path for you, my love, my love, my love Taking turns to dodge the rain See you again Moving on On top and down Twist and shake Scream and shout Taking turns To dodge the rain Not saying goodbye
off camera, we're going to hit you with a little bit of hippity hop. You may notice that every line in this is a question, which isn't an entirely original idea. It turns out I make it from the Moody Beaches. Just put on the booth. Right, okay, here we go. Are there losers? Are there winners? Did Jeremy Oliver serve school dinners? Are we absolute beginners? Is it all just smoke and mirrors? Mirrors, 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 mirrors. Is it all just smoke and mirrors? Mirrors, 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 mirrors. President of Forty, it's a lazy boy more cozy. You all young girls want a pony. This Tony Macaroni, this a job make you more happy. Should I teach myself karate? This the new Star Wars from crappy. Whatever happened to Daffy? It's Ken Ken for marriage. What is this distance between us? Which dictator is the meanest? Who has got the smallest? Only people belong. Jamie Oliver serve school dinners. Are we absolute beginners? Is it all just smoke and mirrors? <laughs> okay. Um, this is a song that I wrote about when you're just like being a bit of a bad, a baddie. I think the kids call it nowadays a baddie. Um, and yeah, you're just kind of going out and about and seeing who else is out and about. 
if you get what I mean. Um, so this song is called Let. <coughs>
you doing sneaking around here without no name? I said I got a name, but you can't validate. Who are you to blame me? Well, I'm a member of my state, protector of my people, and I put food on my plate, getting ready. Your way presses down on my people. You better be careful what you say. You better be careful what you say.
truck taking his prolific out the street.
time I got it before But maybe if I lose my money I don't know what I'm trying to say I'm talking about You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know Oh, well, at least not in the part of Tampa that I come from Cause I am from the bad part of Tampa Yeah, and tell my God he's just a baby And if I find him, I'm gonna run it down in Paris
then the cops showed up and then Bobby points his gun and then, you know, they just point their guns and everything just kicked out from there, man, and then we just had to bail, but I've not seen Bobby since, I just, I, I hope I hear from him soon.
no longer here. They're just useless flaps of flesh. My legs are unaware. They're being chucked out of your stare. My sleeves ain't gonna grieve. And they don't care whether you leave. My
Planks of wood held in highest esteem. Planks of wood build a nest for the apes. Planks of wood forms channels in the water. Planks of wood keeping the people on their knees. Planks of wood tilts the heat to a fire. Planks of wood scrapes the pork from your teeth. Planks of wood 
Hold in the zombies at your window. Planks of wood containing lead brings forth graphene. Planks of wood, pulped and juiced becomes history. Planks of wood become your tomb, become your rest. Planks of wood converts grey matter into ashes. Planks of wood heralds the footsteps of the Dutch. And then usually I go, planks of wood, would you believe it? Because it's way. Um, aye. So that, there you go, that. Uh, this song, first song, is called Dream Cafe and it is quite literally about when I was working in a cafe and I had this very vivid dream in my head and I really wanted to capture it somehow. So, this is that. <laughs> Right, okay, this this next song is, um, yeah, well, it's, it's all about God, so look out for the guest, guest star appearances from God during this performance. Okay, it goes like this. One, two, one, two, three, go! <laughs>
I don't pray anymore. Although now and then I still can hear the devil at my door. But it gets real quiet if I just drink a little more. Because God is in there. Okay, well, um, as you've seen, that was God you saw in them um, during a little clip away there, seeing as we can do that. And um, yeah, so if you want, if you want. I'll I'm working the overtime I'm living for work and working to live I'm stating the pastimes Avoiding the picket line 
We're trying to enjoy a life spread then. Waiting for night time Discouraging the sunshine Somewhere the world becomes less blue I'm reaching the inside I'm corrupting the good times But tired of all we've got to We will toil, we will fall, we'll never see him all. But we can fight our captors on our own. Oh, oh, those you know who've been turned into pawns, tell them now's the time to be strong. Who've been turned into pawns Oh, tell them now's the time to be strong We will toil, we will fall We'll never see them all But we can fight our captors on our own Reaching the daytime Working the overtime Living for work and working to live
This is my last song, and it's called You Might As Well Crochet In. 
No, I, I might as well crochet, crochet if I cannot see John Spencer play. Yeah. And John Spencer is my favorite musician, and, and I can't see him play for obvious reasons, which makes me very sad. Um, and sometimes I feel kind of like an old lady with a cat crocheting away because, to be honest, that's kind of one of the few things you can do at the moment. Uh, well, it feels like that anyway, so um, yeah, I don't really want to learn to crochet, but yeah, I guess these sort of songs come out. Anyway, I'm Charlie Barry, the 21st century one band band, and uh, thanks for listening, thanks for tuning in, enjoy the rest of Fuzzbad, see ya.
is a song about a sort of everyday problem um, that a lot of people have. No, it's not my song about premature ejaculation. It's a different song. So you're on your own for the first time in months. And you decide to make yourself your own, you know, delicious meal for yourself. Something that's just good enough for you. Something that your significant other doesn't like, you know. Or something that someone else in your house doesn't like, won't let you cook. Or something easy, something, you know, make yourself a long, slow cook ragu. Something delicious that you really fancy that day. So bad for you, maybe it's a burger, I don't know. It's taken a while for you to cook it though, right? taken ages and you're, you're really going all out, you've you know, got the pork cheeks in there, you've got the meat, all sorts, it's, it's going to be really fucking delicious if I'm honest. And what you do is you set the table and you think to yourself, you know what, you know, it'll go well with this, a nice drink, only you've got work on the morrow, on the morrow tomorrow and you can't quite bring yourself to drink some beer, so, but it's all right. You've got some nice squash, posh squash, high juice, cordial, you know. The difference between squash and cordial, really nice, some really nice squash. You're like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna have myself a delicious, cool glass of squash. It's gonna be absolutely fantastic. So you set that tap to running. You know, you've already put the pasta on, ready for your bolognese or whatever it is that you've made. And you wait for that to get all done, and you set the tap to running, you know, get cold. You pour some squash in that glass. You know, quite a lot as well. You poured about, like, I don't know, 50 peas worth. A lot of that squash, man. And you're like, oh man, it's going to be great. Though. Delicious meal, delicious squash. Because good squash can be better than juice. I mean, don't shoot me, but it can be better than juice. Anyway, turn around, check your pasta, you know, give that a stir, make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom. It's bronze style pasta as well, so you don't want that to fuck up. And you turn back and you put that, your favourite 
favourite pint glass under the tap. And by the time you feel it, it's already too late. Feel it on your hand. Terrible. You've got... Warm squash! Warm squash! Warm squash! You can do right. You can do a lot. Of, you what? What? You you can you can say that. I mean, you're not gonna just pour it down the drain, are you? Because as I say, it's a lot. of about 50 p's worth of squash there at the bottom. You know, you have to use a bit more when it's high juice, cordial posh squash. You have to use a bit more when it's high juice. So you've used a bit of it. You don't want to pour that down the drain. You don't get that nice squash very often. So what can you do? What are your options? Well, you're gonna put it in, put it in the uh, fridge for a bit. You want to drink it now? Your, your pasta's almost all done today. If you leave that cooking, it's going to go all squashy and horrible. What are you going to do? You're going to, you know, I mean, uh, get some ice. This is worthy, right? Not, not fucking Hollywood. You don't have ice on hand. You'd have to go and get ice. Okay, you're not doing that now. I mean, really, there's nothing you can do. I mean, do you enjoy hot Ribena? Is it? It's winter time, I guess. Winter, fucking, that's why you don't have ice. Okay, it's okay. Just for now, you just have to enjoy your. Warm squash! Or well, not enjoy it. Warm squash! Fuck warm squash! Different situation now, so. If you're single, imagine that you are around a nice new partner, potential partner's house. Your date's gone well, you've gone back to theirs, right? You've gone back, or maybe you are with a new partner, you've gone back to theirs and you're, you know, you're getting off with them. You've been getting off with them for quite a while, right? And you're feeling, you know, it's going well, but you're feeling quite parched. Because thirsty work. She's sucking up all your spit, or he. Sucking up all your spit, right? You know, whoever it is, they're sucking up all your spit. So you go, oh, sorry, do you mind? Do you mind? Do you mind horribly? I really, really need a drink. That's all. Just need a bit thirsty and I need a drink. Is that okay if you could get me, you know, just a quick drink if that's okay? And they, of course, they say yes because, you know, you're good at kissing. <laughs> and so they're, they nip off, and, but you see where they're going and you're like, oh no! Where are they? Oh no! I didn't want it from there! I want a kitchen or bathroom, 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 kitchen or bathroom. They've got to the fucking bathroom to get you your drink. Maybe they don't like you so much, right? They come back and you're like, ooh, well thanks for this slightly warm, chalky water that you might want to fish out of the toilet. Um, maybe you don't like me. You don't say that, of course. You, you, you come up with a cunning plan, right? You're like, although you didn't want kitchen or bathroom, you want a kitchen or bathroom, kitchen or bathroom, kitchen or bathroom. Even though that's the case, right? You come up with this little plan and you go, actually, do you know what? When we were coming in and we were getting, you know, I just noticed you had some of that posh, posh drink in the kitchen. Um, you know what? I'll have a bit, I'd like a bit of squash, please. Have a bit of squash, posh squash, high juice. Give me that cordial that you got. That looks really nice and a woman of t a woman of taste. I can tell you a woman of taste, so I have that. And because you're a woman of taste, you know that you won't be pouring the squash in the top of this horrible bathroom water that you poured me. So um, if you could I don't know, nip off and get me, I'm a bit shy in your house, so if you could nip off and get me a delicious squash with fresh water, that would be great. She nips off. Going to the kitchen this time, absolutely fantastic. They nip off, so. But then, they return. And as soon as you've got it in your hand, you know they don't like you at all. Because you've got it, right there. They've totally done you. They've totally done you. But it's warm squash. <laughs> 